So in Go language, we have anonymous function also. Function that does not have any name. Suppose I'm declaring a print statement over here and I'm just simply saying message over here um, anonymous functions. Now the question is if it function does not have the name then who will call it? The functions will be called immediately. That concept in other programming language we call if you also means immediately invoke function expressions. So when we execute this one anonymous function also will execute. Wherever we will write down, it will execute there also. So this is anonymous function or we can say function expression also in some programming language, we can say function expression also. So functions, suppose I want to say display message, we can store in a variable also. Suppose I'm just writing down this, this is the second example, but this function I need to call it. Suppose I want to call it just below it. So this is also another way we can declare a function. So, so this is also one we call anonymous functions. A functions, anonymous function, we can make it like a way also. Suppose uh, I'm making on the top. So I'm just writing down where keyword and I have area over here. Here I'm declaring a function. Suppose the same way as we have some of the two values, so I just simply say a and b and both are the integer and it will return also integer and we can just simply say return a plus b or you can say it is sum of a. So this is the name by which we will actually use this one. So either we can declare like a way or either we can declare there or we can declare outside or inside both the way it will work. Fmt dot print talent. I'll just simply say add. What is the name? I need it. Some or add. I think some I need. I need some, so I just simply say two and four over here. So this output should be come over here six. Sum is ready clear in this block. Okay, so I given the same name, so I'll just simply say sum one. And this is a sum one. We'll run it and we'll get the six. So this is the function we'll be calling. So either of them way we can declare it also the functions, right? So if you declare anonymous functions or like if we suppose if we and if I want to, I need to pass some parameters. Suppose I'm just simply saying I pass the two and I just simply say x comma x of integer. Both are the integer value and the whatever the x comma x I just wrote down. I just wanted to say print ln x multiply by x. Okay, so what is this we are doing? So suppose, okay, this is a single parameter. Suppose I'm passing a single parameter and just calculate the square of it. So simply I need to write down like it. So this is the way that we can pass the value and this is the, we are passing a single parameter and this is your calculation. So from here we need to pass a parameter. Okay. Another thing is if functions, um, what is the basically use of these functions? We can use this function indirectly in somewhere if you have it. So, for example, I'm just going to say you know, this is print talent. At the time, I just wanted to be call it this function so over here. Okay, so here also I can call it, or or I can write down some message over here, and I'll just pass it the function over here also. So, if I pass it, it should call right. Okay, I need to tell it. No, I yeah. So if I call it, suppose I'm just passing a return type over here, okay, this function will return something over here and I'm just simply saying x multiplied x because then also it will come inside and it's the use of the printing. So this is the use of this one, means this functions we can pass as a parameter. So this is the second parameter of the print talent. So we can pass this anonymous function as a parameter, okay. Yes, over here there is a one more concept that we called closer so next example is closer closer means close in phenomena means the parent and child function the two functions should be the parent functions variables can be accessible can be accessible by the child functions okay so suppose i'm just writing down a display message over here and it will get a message and it will return another functions and that is also a return type string. 
means yes similar to this so we have the functions and function will return in another message so i can just simply say message could be possible um i'm just wanted to be just appended over here hello over here all the messages i just wanted to append it that's why i just did it to be concatenation simple so this variables whatever the top variable i'm just actually reusing in my child function that concept we call closer so how to use it how to call it it's simple you can just go there this functions will return a message here we'll pass it passes how you this is a message i pass it and this message will receive into this variable now this variable i need to execute it also separately yes or no yes we will have to do because this is the way we'll get it a value so let's see what is the error could be the reason uh we'll hover it no value used as a value okay one second display message uh, okay i used two different place okay so this function i'll just change the value to display message one and we'll use it like here so this is the message we'll get or we can write down this one uh we can call it uh, this way also suppose i have display message one and i will write down over here and here also i can write down the value means i'm just calling the inner function also rather than putting in the two different statement i can do into the same statement also so we'll see hello how are you so this is the message coming from this is the line and this is the one message came from this line it could be possible we can pass one more parameter over here suppose i pass a one more parameter over here that is also string so that string message will be come over here definitely it should be string i need to write down and i need to just tell the type only and when i do actually i'll just pass it over here some message also um hello how are you and what's what's up just simply what's up and uh, this message i will just want to use it over here after giving some space and just write down this one. so now when i will execute this one definitely this will give error so i'll just let me comment it so when i execute this one i will get it hello how are you and what's up so this is the way we can utilize it so this is the way we can use the closer the closer is giving us two very good advantage if we have functions inside any functions in nested kind of stuff okay or this example can be treated like as a high order function also yes because this is the upper function wrapper function or inside in it actually this is the inner function so we can understand this is a high order function also right so if i need to for example i need to uh calculate uh area calculate area and hopefully i didn't use some area i didn't use so up suppose i need to calculate of area so i'll just simply pass it the length of whatever it is we need to pass and this function will return the breadth and i'll just say this is also integer and it will return it also one more integer or that could be the float also so so this is the way we can write down this is a similar same example so what we need to write down over here here we need to write down fft dot print talent and here we need to tell calculate area i need to pass it the 5 of the basically you can say length and the 2 is the width over here so this kind of function we can make it through high order we can say or you can say closer the both the concept is the work in the same way okay so this is all about functions Thank you guys see you in the next video